What's up guys? Welcome to Broke Boys Manifesto. Um, today I'm going to be doing a range review, or not really a range review, but I'm going to be doing a uh, first impressions of this rifle bag, and then I'm also going to be talking about a range bag. Um, both these were sent to me by Three Pigeons. I think they're a Shopify store, and they sell, from what I can tell, really nice products. Um, they, I don't really like doing these kind of reviews, but, uh, they sent me this bag, like, at the beginning of my channel, and I made kind of a shitty, uh, review of it, and, um, I pretty much used it ever since for a lot of different things, and it's kind of just turned into my go-to bag that I use every day. It's always in the car for uh, recording and things like that. Whether I have guns in it or not, it's always full of something sitting in my car, um, I've also went down to McCall, Idaho, and I went snowmobiling this last year, and then up here in North, uh, northwest Montana, I also did quite a bit of snowmobiling, and I also use this as my backpack for both those occasions. I might include some pictures if uh, I can find them. Um, it's windy, and it's hot as hell today, but I'm kind of hiding in this old Subaru hatch here, so hopefully I'm not sweating too bad. Um, try to do this in one take, so it might be a little boring, but it's a, it's a, it's a, bag review and I kind of find those boring anyways they don't really tick you, tickle my fancy if you know what I mean so let's get on to it I want to run you guys through this range bag that they sent me and just kind of show you how I have it set up because as I mean I use it all the time um, if you open up this little thing here you end up with three top compartments one of course I have a bore sight and then I have extra um, safety goggles just in case I need that this is nice to keep on you. I like to keep a bore sight on me because a lot of times I come down to the range and you find out a red dot or something's been tweaked off. You got to resight it in. Nice to have. Uh, in this one, I got two extra pairs of earmuffs. I kind of prefer ear plugs, but I do have those in there. Uh, I don't even know what's in this pouch. Right now, I have actually, this is just kind of a bigger pouch. I got extra magazines and. Uh, some, I guess, 45 ammunition and some 22 long rifle. And then I got a rag. And then I think I have that because I did a torture test on a Sealy Optic and I wore that through the whole thing. If you want to check that out, maybe I'll leave a link in the description. Um, it was pretty fun. All right, moving into the side compartment, we have a, I have a Glock tool. It's got like all the Glock parts and stuff you would need in it. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, but this is kind of how I keep this bag for the range and it, once, once you have a quality bag, you'll realize how much time and effort you were lacking throwing all this bullshit into something random like a Walmart bag or something just so you could go to the range. Once you have a bag that you actually deck out it's and it's always there prepared, it's fucking nice. Uh, girlfriend got me that. That's also in the same pouch. Um, this is for taking stuff apart, and this is a magnetic wristband. I don't ever put it on my wrist, but I kind of thought it was stupid when my girlfriend got it. But um, having a magnet nearby when you're taking pins and shit and springs out of a gun, I, I use this now whenever I'm taking anything apart. So yeah, keep that in mind. I don't know what that costs, probably 19 bucks on Amazon or something. And then there's another pocket right behind that. And I usually keep this. I got this from Ross for like $10 and I've used this thing since I was like 14. It's just a whole bunch of Allens, Phillips, Flatheads, things like that. Um, there's extra earplugs in this pocket, and then I also have some Surefire batteries, and then I have, uh, these are for red dots, just extra, extra batteries in my bag. It's always smart to have. Shut down the camera. Uh, moving on to the front, I didn't grab this bottom one. I think this one I just have, like, okay, there's a microphone and then an extra phone case. You guys won't need that, but I'm always recording. A lot of times I'll even put my, um, I'll put my recording stand that you're on right now in this bag. Um, this is lubricant. It is, what is that, CL, CLP lubricant. If you don't know, that's really good for fucking guns. Breaks down carbon, so I keep two things of that. This one's for pistols. The spray I use on my rifle bolts. That's nice to have in a bag. All right, um, one thing cool about this is um, when you buy this bag in particular, you not only get this, but you also get three pistol cases, and I'm going to show you how you access them. So, um... Right here is a, this compartment actually is Velcroed in, the bottom of it is, and you can rip that out so you have more space here, and then it attaches all the way down in here. So that's what I was doing like when I went snowmobiling, things like that. I just had this big compartment open that I could just shove shit in there or whatever. 
Um, but what's cool about this bag is you can have all this sitting in it and instead of having to dig through the top at all the shit you threw in the, in the top of it to get to your guns or things like that, they have this huge side compartment here. And look at that. This bag comes with three of these. And I want to tear these apart. You see how you can just set that on the side of a table or something like that. Pull out three different pistols. This actually has three different pistols in it. Um, these bags too also, I've, I, fit, I fit two guns in each of them. You can do that. I'll show you how you do that too. So you open this up and um, here you've got mag pouches. I'm not sure what's even in this bag. I think this was just for a different video, so I don't have much. That's a Glock uh, 19 magazine. This little flap here is how I usually will carry like two different guns. Have your magazines here. I'll put one gun in here because it's protected on both sides without getting scratched. And then this is the actual compartment that they have. And they have like a nice soft material in here that this is, this is where your gun's supposed to go, but. Yeah, it's a shit P80 build. It's actually my friend's, it's not even mine. Used it for a video. It's the only reason why I'm in possession of it. Um, Tacticon video, Predator V5 or 4, Predator V5 there, TLR1, cool deal. Um, Yeah, this bag, I don't know. From my experience so far, it's just been a really high quality bag for the price. And then they, uh, you know, I didn't want to do this, not that much because I'm just not that into range bags, but fucking they send me cool stuff and i really like their stuff so they asked to do an, another review or me do another review and i was like yeah send me the rifle bag so moving on to the rifle bag <clears throat> i actually have ammo and shit still in here i took one of the no i took two of the guns out for this video just because it's a heavy son bitch with all the ammo that you guys saw in these pouches that's like full of 22 full of nine and then i have there's just so many pouches usually when you get shit from these people i don't know why but I mean, it's convenient, but you usually have nice molly and stuff. This stuff's made out of a nice fabric. And I didn't mention the zippers over there, but holy shit. A quality zipper is worth the money as far as I'm concerned after having stuff like this. But I still have the kel in here. Boom. Let's take that out. There's a, that's like six cents. Apocalypse change. Um, So there's two pouches here that are actually Velcroed. You could actually put stuff in those pockets. This big pocket is not for a kel but I had a kel so why not fold it and put it in there? And then I can carry three bag, I mean, three guns in a two rifle bag. Um, there's more pockets here. I forgot that magazine was in there. Two pockets here you can use. Moving on to the front, there's actually a pocket here. On the other side, same deal, pocket. Let's close that up. I'm not gonna open these because they're full of ammo, but they'll just fucking fly everywhere. You know, that would probably be kind of fun. Just see what happens. Nine mil. Didn't fall anywhere. Yeah. Okay, moving into the center part of the bag. Uh, maybe before I do that, I'll show you guys the back. So one thing cool about this is they have this like, this is like for an over the shoulder sling if you want to carry it. I don't know if I can do it on camera. I don't want to move because you guys might not be able to see anything. And I think, I think I have you positioned right. Um, you could carry it like this over the shoulder. They have um, this right here. You can carry it with those two handles. They even have a handle on each side there for manhandling like this. And then another thing they do is there's actually like backpack shoulder pads here. So you can actually like backpack this thing around if you're, I don't know if your range is way out there. Maybe you got a shotgun or something like that, but you can uh, pack this in the back country and then go, I don't know, clay pigeon shooting or something odd. Um, okay, now moving into the middle. Let's move into the center now that we've talked about that BS. Maybe I'll unhook that shoulder sling. All right, moving in. All right, main compartment. So I think you can see this. Rifle goes in there. These strap down over it. You know, if you have a long enough rifle. AR-15, my AR-15 seemed to not be quite long enough. This is a 40, I think a 42-inch bag, and then I think they have a 32-inch bag. They do have a price difference on those two. Um, yeah, for me, the, this, I think this is a 42, I'm guessing is what they sent me. It's a big bag. It's really, it's really big. And my rifle is pretty small, so it didn't really clip into both sides of this. But I, if you have longer rifles, I mean, 42 inches, measure it out, figure out. I mean, this is a pretty big bag. You can fit some pretty long rifles in here. Um, yeah, and then there's just a flap here that separates your two rifles. So that way when you're, you know, transporting things and things like that, this stuff keeps them from scratching one another. And I'm pretty sure that's really all there is for this. Um, I had someone tell me that Three Pigeons is just some Chinese fucking Shopify piece of shit store, but I don't really care where they're from. Honestly, um, 
if someone sells me something or gives me something, I'm gonna give an honest review of it. And so far, I can't really give you an honest review of that yet. What I can tell you about that is it feels like the same material as this bag is. And I've, a lot of times I'll have this thing full of probably like 50 pounds of fucking ammunition and I'm carrying this thing around. Like this bag so far has uh, not failed me. None of the zippers, the zippers are one thing that seems like bags just always fail on and then you just throw the thing out, you know, or, the, or it riffs. I mean, this stuff, this is strong. Like if you ever had a plate carrier, this just seems like the same hard material that a plate carrier has. And it just, I mean, I'm guessing this bag is gonna last me a lot of years before I have any issues with it. These zippers, they just, they feel right. Uh, where am I going with this? Um, yeah, I don't really care where shit's manufactured. I just, if it's good, I'm gonna tell you if it's good. If it's not good, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you that it's shit. But um, so far, they seem reasonably priced with everything. I think these are like 120 something dollars. And then that's like 100 and. 30 i think and then the bigger bags 150 or something like that um i'm gonna have a a link in the in the description below with a discount things like that i think it's like a 10 percent discount if you do want to buy these they do have package deals of these two i think these two paired together is really cool i'm happy now that i have this rifle bag because now i can carry a ton of shit in here and then i have this bag specifically for pistols and things like that so it's really um it's, it's going to be a nice uh, ordeal for me to have all this. Um, what, where am I going with this? They're, they're good shit. I mean, everything so far has been high quality, no rips, no tears. Um, in a couple months, maybe I'll do another review on that. Let you guys know how it's still going. But so far, if you want to purchase something like this, I'll leave a link to this. I'll leave a link to that. And then if you want to buy the bundle deal or something like that, go for it. I think this is a good bag. They're fair price. They're not. They're not too expensive. I mean, one hundred twenty dollars. You're thinking, oh god, that's fucking terrible for like a, a backpack or things like that. Because this is supposed to be a, a broke boys manifesto channel, and I would probably think the same thing. But, the quality of what you're purchasing, I think, is worth it. I think, I think they made a good bag, and for me, having something that's gonna last a little longer and be a little bit more convenient with more pockets and things like that, it's probably worth saving up your money and actually getting a decent bag versus some. I mean, I've, I've been carrying, uh, I've had a lot of black rain, uh, rifle bags. Like those are high quality bags and they've tore on, they've, they all tear at some point, even on the inside, like the fabric on the inside seems to always rip from your rifle, things like that. Um, I've had Smith and Wesson bags. I mean, if, if I brought them with me today, you could look at them. They're just tore apart and it's not even after like that long, it's probably like a year or so of using them. They're just, they just get tore apart and this stuff is, is made out of good fabric. You just tell from touching it. As soon as you touch it. It's good shit. I'm rambling, so um, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys if you guys like like the bags, you guys think you guys want to try them out. Uh, discount code, check it out. If you guys like this video, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.